Hi there Capricorn. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. See what's going on with your person. Let's see what the cards have to say today. We have an achievement. Honesty. Acceptance. These cards are jumping. Sneakers. And the crow. All right, so there's something... Achievement, honesty, acceptance, and sneakers. It's like, I feel like your person is going places. This relationship is going places. Um, there's something that you're meant to... Um, there's something the two of you are meant to manifest here. And it's... it's uh, your person is learning that they're enough. They're enough. They, they're not... Um, they're... There's something, I'm getting this with the acceptance card. Um, there's something about realizing their worth or something, accepting the way it is. Like, it, you know, I feel like the universe has, the universe has the best plan to achieve the goals and the, uh, the purpose of this connection. Like, you, the two of you have a mission here, and you're going places. You are meant to uh, reach all of the goals that you set out to uh, accomplish here. Uh, there's something... Uh, gosh, there's, let's pull some tarot here. Uh, strong energy here, and it's about, you know, really being true to self, speaking truth, um, and accepting the way things are, accepting... Accepting the past, accepting the present, and allowing the future. There's, there's, it's. I feel like the two of you are are going places. Um, what does it say? This, these sneakers say, um, put your plan into motion. Now is the time to start. Uh, and it says, it says, running away from issues won't get you to the finish line. Instead, devise a strategy and run with it. So I feel like it is, it's like um, achieving a goal. You know, we do have the achievement card. So it's like setting a goal, being honest with ourselves. And, and by being honest with ourselves, it means, you know, accept accept the past, accept the present, and, and go forth here. Uh, what do we have for tarot here? We have nine of cups. So yeah, like nine of cups is like wish fulfillment. Anything that you and your person uh, decide to do is possible. And it's not only possible, but it's going to happen here. Uh, Eight of wands, you know, eight of wands is forward movement. Eight of wands also you know, can be about communication, speaking truth, being honest with each other, being honest with self and each other. Um, and when you, it's okay. Like whatever didn't work out in the past, it's okay. Uh, we can, we can always choose again. Uh, we have four pentacles. So there's something about, yeah, acceptance in four pentacles feels very like, it's okay. Like just take a breath. I feel like just like, big sigh and just stay grounded like maybe even you know I'm you know when I get um, when I'm feeling like the need to ground I, I'm drawn to like the hematite you know uh, crystal if you have a hematite or um, something like a grounding energy maybe a grounding meditation or something um, to um, I feel like this Four Pentacles and the Sneakers energy. It's saying like, okay, regroup. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's set new goals. You know, where do you want to go? Where do I want to go? How are you feeling? Uh, and how am I feeling? And how do we move forward? I feel like you're you're going places here with this Sneakers, but we have to, we have to connect and and discuss our truths here. Be honest with each other. Uh, yeah, Page of Wands. So. 
you know, pages are about communication. This one looks like he's, you know, at the, this particular page of wands, he looks like he's, you know, on the mountaintop. He's, um, he's blowing his bugle here. He's speaking his truth. He's speaking what's on his mind here. And when that happens, you know, things are going to come into balance here. Like you can, you can easily achieve goals. It doesn't have to be difficult. Yeah. Lovers. It's like, I feel like you were born to you were born to be with each other. And yes, yes, there are ups and downs along the way. But, you know, when we speak our truth, yeah, another page, page of wand. So page of wand here twice is saying like, yeah, it's time. It's time to um, discuss the future here and accept that, you know, well, maybe we didn't, you know, maybe in the past we didn't say what we truly needed to say or maybe we kept some things inside but now i feel like when we fully express our emotions here uh, this ten of cup energy uh things are going to change Thing, the energy is going to shift and it'll be easier to uh you know move beyond um the things that held us back, certain barriers or, or um, self-imposed blockages, like or or a feeling like we couldn't really be um, truthful. Maybe we just didn't feel, or your person didn't feel um, that you know they were good enough for you or had enough to offer you. Uh, is what I'm getting, but there's we can break through those barriers now, uh, and move forward. Yeah, this chariots like joining together, you, me, us, moving forward. There's a speed here. Uh, this particular chariot, you know, knows where they're going. There's there's a mission. There's a goal. Uh, success here, wish fulfillment here, achievement. Nine of Cups, lovers, chariot. It's like the two of you are are connecting. On a soul level, uh, and it's bringing an expansion in your physical world. We have this devil energy, and I feel like it, you, your person felt like they didn't have enough to offer you, or there was something they felt like they came up short or something, is what I'm getting. Like, like they didn't have enough to offer you or something. Uh, we have Ten of Wands, so... You know, ten of cups, ten of wands. There's, there's a fullness to the ten. There's like um, there's an expansion ready to happen here. You know, tens, tens are the end of a cycle. Tens are the cusp of the ending in the beginning. The ten turns to the one here. That new beginning, like, is so full that we're you know we're busting at the seams here. And it's okay that we've gone through um. You know, we've gone through some challenges. It's okay. Yeah, three of cups or three of sword here. Nine of wands, three of sword energy. It's, it's you know, that's challenging energy. But it's okay. We can move beyond it here with the sneakers here. We're going places. We can walk away from, you know, feeling not not ready or not adequate or whatever that feeling is like like there's too many obstacles in the way or we'll never get there or we'll never you know too many responsibilities ten of wands can be a heavy card devil energy it's like feeling you know we can feel sometimes you know trapped in our in our own box or our own world here um for let's see we have the page of wands here twice so i want to um I want to draw a couple more because seeing that those duplicated. Page of Cups. Yeah, we need to communicate and be honest with ourselves. Speak from the heart here. Uh, nine of Wands again. So we got two Nine of Wands and two Page of Wands. It's like, I feel like once you speak your truth, you and your person speak your truth, uh, you'll be able to... Um, move beyond the obstacles that have presented themselves uh, in the past and you'll be able to move beyond them here. Yeah, Seven of Swords coming in there like upside down like that and temperance energy. Something is, is being balanced. Something is being uh, revealed. Uh, speaking truth because, you know, there's it's interesting. We have honesty in Seven of Swords. It's like, you know, Seven of Swords has a reputation. Seven of Swords has a reputation of being, um, 
you know, not truthful. Yeah, we have the honesty here. And I feel like by being honest and not hiding behind our fears or our worries, we can move forward. We can achieve our goals and it doesn't have to be difficult. We can accept that, you know, maybe maybe we chose, um, you know, we chose something that, that drew us apart. And now it's like, okay, we can choose again is what I'm getting. Uh, bottom of these decks want to reveal themselves. We got Six of Pentacles. We've got Wheel of Fortune. And Six of Pentacles again. So it's very much, there's something about bringing harmony to this connection, making change. I'm drawn to the 13 on that crow. You know, 13 is the transformational number. You know, things are, are about to uh, shift here balance out move forward where they're meant to be wheel of fortune is like destiny falling into place um those things that you those goals that you feel deep within your soul are ready to manifest uh, i feel like i want to let's get one from this deck here because we have the six of pentacles here twice page of wand here twice nine of wands six of pentacles we'll be able to move forward yeah eight of cups is moving forward you know following fo you know it's interesting because eight of cups for me is um you know seeking that ninth cup and we have it here we have the ability to um connect with each other king of king of wands is very creative energy like there's strong um creative energy there's a destiny falling into place here and it's like let's not let's not hide from it anymore let's make it real here let's solidif solidify it if that's a word solidify i think that's a word but this emperor here is a four and we saw the four pentacles here this strong energy here you know and the one and the three add up to a four here too with the with the crow here so there's stability within this relationship um and it's okay that if we you know, strayed from from our path. It's okay if we veered off course. Uh, we're we're um, we're reassessing. We're realigning, uh, and it's it's time to reconnect. Be honest with each other. Speak the truth. You know, accept what what's happened in the past. Accept the present. Accept the past, present, and the future here that's yet to be uh, created. Here, there's something um, beautiful, transpiring here. Is what I'm getting. All right, I'm going to read the essence of uh, this crow card. Crow is the keeper of universal law, the law of truth. Crow teaches us to walk our talk, to find congruence between who we say we are and who we really know ourselves to be. This winged one insists that we speak truth and we create truth instead of searching for it and that we bring truth to every situation we find ourselves in. Peace be with you. Bye now.